Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This week we've been looking at the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse number 4 to 7. And yesterday we mentioned verse number 19 and 20, where we're encouraging one another to ensure that Jesus Christ is our all in all, because the Bible reminds us to rejoice in the Lord the Bible reminds us to make our requests known to the Lord. And again, um, the same chapter in verse number 13, Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, in verse number 19 and 20, he talks about how the Lord is able to supply unto all our needs. This is a reminder that God knows us. He has you and me in his mind and we are his business at all times. And sometimes as we look at verse number six, where Paul tells the Philippians not to be anxious of anything, we are being reminded that anxiety will not lead us to anything or anywhere. Anxiety will steal away our joy in Christ. And so the Lord is calling us to depend on him, to wait upon him because he is in charge of our lives. Let us reflect together on the book of Matthew, chapter number 6, just to remind ourselves that the Lord is calling us to trust in him because he is able. I will read verse number 32 to verse number 34. The Bible says, For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Praise the Lord. A reminder that God knows what we need. And he is reminding us that because we have put our trust in him, we need to know that, yes, we are not like those who seek after those things and uh, they don't care about their relationship with God. We should encourage ourselves in the Lord, God who knows what we need. And he says that he knows that we need them all. For the Gentiles look after, the Lord knows that we need them all. And so the call is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto us. When we lack, this is when we fall into anxiety. The Bible reminds us that therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. This does not mean that we should sit there and just look at, um, you know, things happening around us, waiting for God to, you know, supply or to come through for us. We are being reminded, cast your issues unto the Lord. And as you do this, listen to his voice, walk with him, have a relationship with God, and uh, every day has sufficient trouble of its own. And so today, the Lord is able to supply unto your needs. The Lord is able to meet you at the point of your need. The Lord knows what you need and what you require. Live alone. You know what you need, even what you require. And that's why sometimes we think that I need this more than the other. But the Lord just comes through and gives you something else because he knows what you require for a given time at a given space. And so he is in charge of our lives. What is, what is the call here? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. The Lord is reminding us that when we make him our all in all, he is faithful to come through for us. May we be anxious for, about nothing. May we be able to release our issues to God at all times allowing God to lead and to guide us. Be anxious about, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. When our lives are in the hands of God, we have nothing to worry. 
Let us seek the face of the Lord, seek his guidance, and the troubles of every day, every time, you not steal away our joy in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Yes, this is the Lord telling us because he is so near. He's together with us. And again, seek his kingdom first. And all these things shall be added unto you. Have a lovely time, a blessed day, a blessed time together as we look forward to the weekend. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.